Today I'm here with Coach Sandifer, the head coach of the men's and women's golf program. Coach, thank you for being here today. And so, Coach, um, how has your the team, both teams, uh, dealt through the golf season uh, this past fall? Well, you know, it's been tough with the COVID and trying to get practices in, but we were able to uh, get five tournaments in this past fall, which we were excited about that. And, uh, just thankful that we were having the opportunity to play. Normally, you know, without the COVID, our team would have moved in two weeks before school started and had a preseason camp and then probably played anywhere from eight to ten times in the fall. So it was obviously a shortened season. But at the same time, you know, we were just thankful that we were able to get out there and get some tournaments in and get some tournament experience. So we were grateful for that. So, I mean, this year you brought in a lot of assistant coaches, uh, Coach Ainu, Coach Rumler, and Coach Maddie Reed. Um, how have they helped the program uh, this year? Tremendously. It's a great staff, and each one brings something a little bit different. First of all, they're all alums, so all three of them are former players of ours, so familiar with the program from that standpoint, and that they play here, and they went to school here, and, you know, they know me and know their way around, and, uh, you know, Coach, Coach Ayuno with his... Uh, expertise on the golf swing and him being a, you know, a, a golf professional and giving lessons at miles has been nothing but a plus and I think that you would agree he's really brought a lot to the table and then Coach Rumler who's been with us now I think this is including time as a player her seventh year with us and just uh, you know what she brings to the table just from the mental side of golf and helping the kids out on the course with when they're struggling, when they're playing bad, or you know, helping them know when they're playing well, and just with course management and the things that she does. And of course, everybody loves Maddie. Maddie just graduated in the spring, and she's off to uh, occupational therapy school at the University of Toledo. So just having those three around has been a real plus. And, you know, they're all three younger, and just bring a lot of energy to the program, a lot of enthusiasm to the program. And uh, they've been invaluable in the recruiting part. Uh, we think that we're having a great recruiting year, and a lot of it's to do with them be getting out there and really. Um, selling Sienna and getting kids on campus for visits. So I've been really, really happy with the staff. So, Coach, just to jump off of recruiting, I mean, obviously this is not any other year with recruiting. How do you, how, what has been the difference with recruiting this year as opposed to any other year as a result of where we're at right now? Well, first of all, this is trying to find dates that you can get a kid to come on campus. Uh, you know, we were limited for a long time as to not even be able to have people on campus, and we were doing the tours virtually. And now, you know, one of the really tough parts of it is frustration is when they do for come for a campus visit, there's so few buildings that they can go in. Uh, you know, basically the tour is the you know, Sacred Heart Hall and maybe into the UC, and then you walk by you know, the stadium and you walk by some of the other buildings, you walk by the field house, and they aren't able to really come in and, and see the inside of the buildings and uh, just experience the, you know, the general feel of the campus and really get to understand what the campus is about because there's just so limited what we can do. And then, you know, one of the things that we've always liked to do when we have a kid on campus is for them to meet the team. And when they meet the team, we usually do that at a meal, lunch or dinner, and we haven't been able to do that. So it's been a challenge. Uh, it's been a real challenge. And I know that we aren't alone. Every school in the country has probably experienced the same challenge as we are. Uh, recruiting, but at the same time, you know, we're hanging in there. Uh, you know, we, we've done a lot of things virtually and we've done some Zoom meetings and I, I videoed, actually I was just in the nursing uh, building this morning or the nursing floor this morning asking if I could do a video of the facilities because we had a girl here uh, on campus Saturday who, you know, wants to major in nursing, but she wasn't able to go up and see the facility because it was, first of all, Saturday and then, you know, that's a building that we can only go through the first floor. So. You know, it's been a challenge, but we're looking at different ways, and we're going to figure it out, and we're going to get the job done, knowing that, you know, things are going to be different. So, as a former basketball coach, and now as a golf coach, are there things that you've um, taken from being a basketball coach that has helped you become a golf coach? And if so, what are they? Well, first of all, the biggest challenge, I think, when I first took over golf was really getting the kids to understand that it was a team sport. Um, for whatever reason... Uh, when I first took over, the kids thought that they could practice on their own and they could just go out to the course and play, and that isn't my style. I want to develop a team and, you know, the team camaraderie and everything that goes along with being a team. So, as you know firsthand, Michael, we practice as a team, we work out as a team, and we do things as a team. And you get out on the golf course and you really have to get the kids to understand that they are playing for the team. And a lot of times, golfers, uh, especially over the summer, they're just playing in tournaments on their own and they're playing for their own score. 
So if there's a, a you know a slight chance they may be able to hit one through the, the trees, they're going to go ahead and take that risk. And we you know we try to convince them that hey, look, you got to take one for the team. And if it means chipping it out and just you know playing for par, or playing for bogey, you've got to do that because your score counts towards our team score, and we just can't afford to be taking risks that are going to cost you a big number and really cost our team a big number. So. That part of it, I think, directly relates to basketball. And we've also taken some of the weight training and conditioning that we used in basketball, and we've used that in the golf. And uh, I think our kids have really responded to that, and they've done a great job of uh, working in the weight room and understanding that getting bigger and stronger is vital in golf and how much it improves their flexibility and how much it improves their strength. And, you know, after a couple of, you know, a, a fall and winter session of weight training and they get out and hit the ball for the first time and it's going 10 yards further than it was in the, in the fall. They're pretty excited about that. And so I think that, you know, and then of course you're managing kids and you're working with kids and those things all relate. You're still dealing with some of the same issues regardless of the sport. And that is getting your kids to play hard and getting your kids to work hard and making sure kids, your kids are doing well academically and they're focused academically and, you know, they're being where they're supposed to be on time. and just creating all those lifelong lessons that go hand in hand regardless of the sport. So coach, last question. This is just going to be a fun one. Okay. All right. So a lot of the kids here at Siena Heights are from the Southeast Michigan region. I'm obviously from Lansing, not the uh -huh. Southeast Michigan region. So for all the people watching this, getting into golf, what is the best course in Southeast Michigan that you recommend for students? For students who are just beginning to play? Yeah. In Southeastern Michigan? Yeah. What course should they go to? Gosh. That's a great question. There's there's several. Um, you know, here in Adrian, you have Wolf Creek, which is a great course. Uh, it's a nice public course, and if you're just beginning a uh, golfer, that's a great place. Without question, the best course in southeastern Michigan is Lenway Country Club, and that's our home course. And I maybe I'm I'm biased about that, but my gosh, if you have a chance to play at Lenway, that's such a privilege to just get out on that course. And uh, you know, beautiful course, very well kept, and like I said, extremely proud to call that our home course.